Yo, what's going on guys? It is Insanity here and welcome to today's video. I apologize for the late upload, uh, but you know, we're still making a video today. I just woke up late. And today we're gonna be talking about the Monarch Assault Rifle within Borderlands 3. Now, just before this video starts, please be sure to leave a like as it does help this channel grow and also subscribe if you are new. I do Borderlands content like this almost every single day on my channel, so please consider subscribing. I have a playlist on my channel called How To Borderlands for all your Borderlands needs and whatnot, like farming guides and boss guides, and that link will be down in the description below. Just before we go into this, uh, the Monarch Assault Rifle is a Mayhem 6 legendary weapon, so this means you can only farm it Mayhem 6 and above. The Monarch is a Vladoff Assault Rifle that acts a lot like the Dictator. If you guys know what the Dictator is, it's pretty much just like, it acts, I don't even know how to explain it, it just shoots three bullets and it, it can deal a lot of damage if you have the bipod out too. It acts very well with Mose and Flak builds, so this gun will be very good for Mose and Flak builds. Now, as for the elements it can come in, I am unsure about what it can come in. Uh, I do know I got I got a corrosive one before, but I don't know about any of the other elements. I, I did get no element as well, so. But this gun shoots up to 10 bullets at the cost of one, which is insanely good for damage output. Again, I as I said, it acts a lot like the Dictator, but it's just like a better Dictator in my opinion. It just deals an insane amount of damage. I I don't know if I'm killing Grave Ward in the video, but I kill Grave Ward on like Mayhem 6 with ease. So I, I know some of you be killing him on Mayhem 10 with ease, but like Mayhem 6 is revolutionary for me. And if you use the bipod, this weapon can be insanely accurate and insanely like it can just deal so much damage within a short amount of time. Now on to how you can farm this weapon. This weapon is farmable from Killvolt in Lectra City on Promethea on Mayhem 6 or higher. So if you guys are not prepared to do the Mayhem 6 or higher thing, I would highly recommend getting some weapons like a Sandhawk from Katagawa Jr. I have a video on that if you guys want to go do that. That's another Mayhem 6 weapon, but in my opinion, it was a little bit easier than this one. But also, the more you farm on Mayhem 6, the stronger gear you will get, so it will just get easier and easier as you keep progressing. This is one of those weapons where it is 100% worth farming, especially if you're flak with Fade Away. This, th this thing could literally destroy Grave Ward on Mayhem 10 within seconds. Also, Killable is one of those bosses where it was, would be actually much easier to do it with a friend, only because Killable has a shield that can resist electric, and he also has like his actual physical shield that is hard to deal damage and get past if you don't have a gun that can deal decent splash damage. So if you're playing with a friend, just let Killable target one of you while the other one runs around him and just deals damage from behind. And as I said, this gets more easier as you do progress and more, uh, the more you farm it, if you get a Monarch from him and you keep farming with the Monarch, it's gonna be a hell of a lot easier for you. So yeah, this gun is 100% worth farming. I hope you guys did enjoy and Let me know what elements you guys do get it in just so I can know and I'll pin your comment if you guys can tell me what elements you guys got it in otherwise that's pretty much it for today's video guys if you guys did enjoy or if you found it informative or helpful please leave a like as it does help this channel grow as well and subscribe if you are new if you enjoyed the content and yeah it's been insanity and i'll see you all later